Hi, so today we're going to use one of my all-time favorite vegetable, the eggplant. Uh, we're gonna make not one, not two, but three different recipes. It's gonna take us like 30 minutes for three of them together. They're gonna blow your mind. It's super tasty, super good, and so easy to make. Uh, we're gonna start with two recipes. Needs the same preparation for the eggplant. Uh, it's the uh, baba ganoush or the eggplant with the tahini and the eggplant in mayo. So we're gonna poke the eggplant uh, just a couple times with a knife. Uh, that will allow steam to escape while we're cooking the eggplant. And we're gonna let it um, cook in a very, very hot oven. So put it on boil, your highest heat for 20, 25 minutes. Put it on the upper rack. Put a pen so it will collect all the all the liquid um, that's gonna come out. So I'm taking the two eggplants that I poked, putting them in the oven. So uh, the third recipe, we're gonna cut slices of eggplant and we're gonna air fry them, but not before we're gonna dip them in um, not an egg wash, but a chicken less bouillon uh, wash, and then we're gonna. Um, coat them with breadcrumbs. I'm gonna use panko breadcrumbs, so it's a little more crunch. So I'm just gonna cut like slices of eggplant. You want them to be thick, about almost an inch, but not, maybe no, maybe two thirds of an inch. We're gonna put them like that. Now you can salt the eggplant if you want with kosher salt. Uh, what it will help, it will get some bitterness out, but because I got pretty good eggplant, not a lot of seeds, uh, so it will be um, not bitter, so we, we can skip that process, which takes some time, and I'd rather skip it. Um, so how I'm gonna do it? I'm gonna dip it in, as I said, uh, chickenless bouillon. So I'm using a, a powder chicken, basically, but it has no chicken. You can get, you know, this chicken bouillon cubes, you can melt them as well. I'm gonna add to it hot water, um, about two thirds of a cup. I'm just gonna use panko breadcrumbs. About three quarters of a cup. Then I'm gonna add some paprika to it. The paprika will give it some color, like it will look a little more like it has been deep fried, even though we're not gonna deep fry it. And I'm using sweet paprika, I don't want it to be spicy. If you guys want it to be spicy, no problem. I'm gonna mix it together. All right, so I'm gonna add some hot water and I'm going to mix it. Now, it, you will have some, um, some lumps, it's okay. Try to dissolve as many as you can, but if you have some, it's, it's really okay. And then we're gonna treat it like we're treating a schnitzel uh, or whatever you guys know how to make, but we're just gonna dip it in the uh, bouillon mixture, uh, which acts like as the egg. And then we're gonna dip it in the breadcrumbs and we're gonna fry it. So just a quick dip, quick sponge, and that's it. Super easy. Again, just to dip it in. You don't need to, it doesn't have to have a lot of breadcrumbs on it. You can have just a little, it's enough. Um, we just want an extra crunch. You can bake it also in the oven. You don't have to use air fryer. It's just gonna take you double the time. I'm gonna do it here in 330 degrees because the air fryer is really powerful for about 20 minutes. If you do it in the oven, put it about 380 degrees for I would say 30 minutes, 40 minutes even. It just takes more time in the oven. Not sure why, I think that just the air fryer is really, really powerful compared to an oven. Now I know a lot of you will say, oh, I'm gonna use chicken bouillon, it's not fresh ingredient. I know, I know, it's not something that I would serve in a Michelin restaurant, but it's something that I would definitely serve for my lunch and my dinner, it just tastes so good. And if you don't wanna do it, just skip this recipe. You have two other recipes that taste really, really good and they have no chicken bouillon in it, so it's fine. And a little bit more breadcrumbs. Now, we don't need to season it with salt, by the way. This is very important to say. We don't need to season it with salt. The, the chicken bouillon has enough salt, so you don't need to add more salt to it. 
my aunt, her name is Esther, she used to make this for us usually as an afternoon snack and I used to love it. I used to be a little chubby kid. So this is literally my childhood on a plate. So I'm gonna put the air fryer on 330 degrees for about 25 minutes, but we're gonna flip them in the middle. And I'm gonna place them in the air fryer bowl. I'm gonna oil the eggplants right before. I'm gonna use olive oil. You can use also vegetable oil. I just like the olive oil. It's very Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, and that's what I'm, I grew up with. Um, just a touch of oil on top, just like this. And we're gonna put them in the air fryer. We need to oil both sides. So we're first gonna oil all the eggplants on this side. I'm gonna put the big first slices first. Then oil the second layer. Then I'm gonna take second layer, I'm gonna put it just on top. Oh, I need to turn it first. Easier, perfect. So just put it in, turn it on, 25 minutes, flipping in the middle, it will be ready. It's gonna be golden brown. It's gonna look a little dark because eggplant is getting dark naturally but it's just gonna be crunchy and juicy on the inside. So delicious. Let's see, let's do it. And it's ready. Yes. Let's take it out. And look at that. Oh my God, it smells so good. Mm, smells like home. So this is what you're getting. It's really hot, so you should get like Slow down with it, don't eat it now, let it a little cool down, but I just want you to see how crunchy it is. So you can actually really hear how crunchy, and again, it's air fried. If we would deep fry it, it would have about 10 times more oil, and we don't want that. So I'm just gonna um, put it on a plate and finish with the two other recipes. All right. Let's turn this off. Now, um, so we have two recipes. One, uh, we're gonna leave the eggplant all, and then the other one, we want just the meat of the eggplant. The easiest way to get it, look, it's just all the water just comes out from the eggplant. Eggplant has a lot of water. We can squeeze some of it out, but anyway, we're gonna let it sit on a strainer for a couple minutes. All right. Now, I'm just gonna cut it in half. And I don't need the head in this case. All right, this is so hot. All right, so I'm just going to scoop all the meat with just a spoon. Super simple, let me take two. So just you scoop it, you don't need to touch it with your hand, it just comes out right away. Now, if you have a little bit of eggplant peel in it, it's totally fine. There, for the other eggplant, again, we're gonna squeeze some liquid out, cut it in half, but we're not gonna cut the head. We're going to cut from the, from the upper middle, I would say, down. We don't want to cut the other part of the eggplant. We want to keep the skin on the other side as whole as possible. If it's a little poked, it's fine. Just going to open it. And then season it with some salt. By the way, do you know why chefs um, hold the salt not from here, but from here. The simple reason is when you're taking the salt and put it close, it will sprinkle in a very specific areas. While when you're doing it from higher, 
you will actually spread it more even across the surface. And I'm gonna try to remove it to the zip it. Yeah, it's gonna go. I'm gonna try to strain most of the liquids out from the eggplant. Okay, so now for the first dish eggplant with tahini, we need to make the tahini. Um, how are we going to do it? Lemon juice, garlic, uh, water, and salt. Simple, clean, nothing in it. Don't mix anything with it. It's, when you have good tahini, you don't need anything on top of it. It's just like you want the tahini to be that center of the flavor. So I'm just gonna take a lemon, squeeze it. I like to use measuring cup because I can see how much liquid I'm gonna use and then I know exactly how much tahini I want to use. So I'm gonna squeeze half a lemon in, which is about two tablespoons. And then I'm gonna take a clove of garlic and I want it to be whole because I want to grate it pretty finely. I'm gonna use a microplane for it. So just... Tahini, I think is one of my favorite ingredients in the world, probably my favorite. Basically, you can put two cloves of garlic. This is a huge one, so I'm just gonna use one. Shake it. And then I'm gonna put water. So here I have about two tablespoons. I'm gonna put about water, a quarter cup of uh, cold water. So now I have half a cup of liquid. I need to add half a cup of tahini. Again, I'm using my favorite tahini, the Alwadi tahini. This is my favorite brand for tahini. So about another half. Perfect. And just a pinch of salt and mix it together. You will see it will look like a curdle milk at the beginning, but then it's gonna to come together. Now you can add more water if you want it to be a little thinner. I like when the tahini is actually thicker, so I'm gonna keep it that way. Pinky taste. Perfect. I don't want anything else. To serve it, I'm just gonna take the eggplant, still steaming hot, I'm gonna put it on a platter, and just gonna pour the tahini on top. Perfect. And I'm gonna sprinkle it with some pine nuts. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil. All right. And now for the last one, which is the easiest one to make. So I'm just gonna take the eggplant that's been sitting for a couple of minutes just to get all the liquid. Look how much liquid it has, it's insane. And you don't want this in your, um, in your salad. Perfect. I'm just gonna put it in a small bowl. Uh, to this, I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of mayo. Depends on your preference. You can be a lot of mayo, you can do less. I love mayo. I use vegan mayo. Uh, sometimes I use homemade, sometimes I make mine, and I'm gonna teach you also how to make mayo, not in this episode, but we will definitely gonna do it. This actually needs also a clove of garlic. It needs to be pretty garlicky. So, another clove of garlic. Use the microplane, it's the best. Perfect. And a little bit of lemon. Just gonna. Now, this recipe calls for about a tablespoon. All the, all the ingredients are also gonna be listed in the description box. So, you can just take a look at it. Just a little bit of lemon and mix it. All right, and we're just gonna put it on the plate. And we're gonna decorate with some parsley. I like the whole leaves as they are. 
also on this eggplant here. Some olive oil on top of everything because we're Middle Eastern and we love our olive oil. Voila. Three way to make an eggplant, whole eggplant with tahini, eggplant with mayo, and air fried eggplant. Enjoy.